important now uh, with the weekend off here to get Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, and then uh, start centering in on game week. But uh, give me the progress report. Huh? I think we've had a great camp, and uh, they need a break. I mean, they've been going long and hard, and, and uh, we've made a real emphasis of giving the young kids a lot of reps. I, I think maybe in the past we haven't found out enough about them in camp, and so we made a real effort, and you saw some of them really show themselves today, which is really good on both sides of the ball. And uh, But they're, you know, they're tired, and uh, so we'll give them the night off, we're going to give them tomorrow off, uh, and then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will be the last three days really at camp before they, they move on campus and all that. Then we'll start uh, focusing on Towson. Bill, what did you see today that you wanted to see before you went in that you saw? <laughs> saw a bunch of young kids flying around and playing hard, and, and uh, you know, I think that's the biggest thing because once we get through Wednesday, a lot of those young kids, you, you know, now all of a sudden they become scout team players or, you know, we had to make some decisions off today's scrimmage uh, and a little bit over the next couple of days about who the travel squad is going to be and all that. And that's why we made a real effort of playing the young kids. There were a lot of bubble kids, and when I say bubble, whether they're going to be in the mix or they're going to be scout team players on both sides of the ball. And so it was really good to give them all – a lot of reps and as a result there were some of the guys that obviously had a lot of experience that we held out uh, just so we could get those other kids reps. So are you still making decisions on those guys? I mean in terms of... A lot. Mm -hmm. You know and everybody thinks about maybe the quarterback spot or you right. know, this, but but up and down the line you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know we played several centers today. Um, we played a lot of different combinations on defense in the secondary. Gave all the running backs, you know, a little bit of a chance. Tight ends is a very competitive spot. I thought, mm. you know, obviously Bolzer really showed himself today, but he's mm. he's a talented young guy that has been good in camp, and it was good to see him, you know, in the, in the stadium have that kind of day. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of positions like that. Mm. A lot of backup uh, wide receiver spots. Um, mm. You know, obviously we have a good feel for the three that played so much in Turner, Dawson, and Belcher. Uh, but we felt like we still needed you know, reps because he hadn't played it along with those other guys because, um, you know, if something happens, the next guy's got to be ready. So that's what the emphasis was today. It was really playing a lot of the twos and threes and finding out who the twos are going to be for sure once we get ready for game week. You got through a lot of scrimmaging this week. And what did you learn about the offensive line, and what do you really like to see them continue to improve on? Just a, just general improvement. I, I don't think there's any, uh, you know, there's no one area. I, I think they do a great job pass blocking. I think it's a very, very good pass blocking offensive line. Uh, the run game, that they've been solid. I think our defensive line is pretty good, to, you know, tough defensive line to run the ball on. Um, but I, you know, I, I think we're making good improvement. We, you know, now we've got to get some consistency out of the running back position. Uh, you know, Darius been hurt, being hurt so much, you know, has had something to do with it. And then really, uh, Trey is, you know, probably the only guy that stayed healthy through the thing. Zach's been in and out, and, uh, as has Nick Turner. So, um, but I, you know, I think that's going to be important. You know, once we get to game week, exactly what the rotation is going to be there. Atkins was helped off. I mean, yes. What, is there anything? Ankle. Not sure exactly, but I heard an ankle. How do you assess the, the cornerback? Corner? Cornerback. I'll tell you what, we got some guys now. I mean, uh, it was good to see Ernest make some good tackles. You know, that's the one thing we, uh, you know, since he didn't really, you know, he was playing baseball in the spring, he didn't tackle a lot. I thought, I thought he showed himself there. Um, you know, Cates and Kyles are both good players. Uh, Council has had his best camp by far. Adrian Burks has been solid. So we've got some depth there. What it's creating is, you know, who's going to go in and play nickel and, and uh, uh, in our dime package. So we have enough corners now that we can move and, and play some of that. So that's a pretty competitive area. And I think it's, it, at safety, the same thing. With uh, I think Mitchell Evans is getting more and more comfortable back there. And then. Uh, same with Donnell Jones. You figure Donnell Jones has been a corner the last two years. So, you know, we've got more, uh, you know, more players, and now it's finding the right spots. But I, I really like the looks of, of the corners. I think they've had a good camp. You talked specifically about cancel and he's not yeah. lacking confidence, that's for sure. Well, I, you know what? Um, he, he's really, he's had a great offseason. You know, he was a guy that a year ago, um, you know, if, got called out by different people for maybe a play here, there, and some games, which I don't think is totally fair, but that's the nature of playing that position. It's like playing quarterback on offense. You know, you're going to uh, take the hit for some things. And, and uh, you know, a guy can go one of two ways, and I think he's responded in a real positive way. I think he, he we saw it in the winter, we saw it in the spring, and, and uh, you know, I, you can tell he really worked hard this summer. I think he latched on to Terrence Turner, and the two of them pushed each other. And, 
he's come out this camp and you know he, he's a he's a fun loving guy and he's got that kind of personality but uh, what he's done you know in the spring and then this so far in camp he's backed it up with his play. At this point in camp do you find yourself getting antsy getting ready for game day? Yeah kind of I you know I am right now you know I think up till the scrimmage today you know you're in such camp mode that that kind of takes all your focus uh, but now tonight's going to be a good night to kind of take a look at all this and then tomorrow without having practice as a staff that tomorrow is a really important day staff wise uh, so that you know, we really can look at what we need good hard work on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday when we're going against each other because after that it really is going to be game week and, and uh, then we've got to split it into scout teams and all that. So. But, but I, after this scrim is generally when you start sitting down as a staff and really making some decisions about your depth chart, that's when you get anxious to start preparation for the first game. Seemed like you did a lot of shifting with guys in the offensive line this time. Yes. What's, what's where, obviously, Pagan did a little bit of right tackle, James Well, here, here was the biggest thing. Brewers, uh, you know, we made a conscious effort we weren't going to play Brewer much. Mm. Uh, we made a uh, conscious effort we weren't going to play Matty much. Those mm. two, um, I don't ever want to say, you know, but they they're, they're mm. at this point they've earned starting positions, and not only from this off season, but also from what they've done in the past. So with that, uh, finding you know who, who would be the next tackle behind Brewer. Mm. Um, hopefully he stays out throughout the year, but if not, uh, we're looking at different guys. And Pagan moving out is one of those. So we wanted to take a good look at that. With Maddie not playing much, now all of a sudden you know finding out who that backup center is. Well, Marquette is it, but then we also wanted to give Marquette some look at guard. Mm. Uh, so then that gave Allfeld and Fia Cable some reps. Um, uh, you know, McShane can play either side. Cody Faulkner was banged up a little bit, so uh, we weren't going to you know, do too much with him today. So as a result, we did a lot of moving around. But, but that's really good because, honestly, you know, it's hard after this to do it. Mm. So we wanted to get as many looks as we possibly can and give them each a little bit of experience so that something happened during the season. All of a sudden, hey, you got to pop out there and play. It's not... Uh, new to him, and that's that was really the focus of what we wanted to get out of the scrimmage. Okay, thanks, man. All right. Thanks.